Alrighty everyone, how you guys doing? Before I start, disclaimer, in this video I'm not going to show you or give you a tutorial on how you upgrade or put an SSD in your iMac, so if you're looking for that, you're in the wrong place. Simply, I'm just going to give you feedback and tell you how the process went, uh, how it's been post-installation of the Samsung SSD, and just kind of general feedback and things to, to kind of avoid, uh, and just generic kind of tips. The reason why I'm not doing a tutorial is because already on YouTube there are plenty of excellent videos up and I don't think I can add value simply because there's just I use YouTube to put the SSD in myself so I think the video that you really need to watch is on your screen and if you follow this there is no reason why you are going to fail in kind of doing so. So, as my 3 year Apple Care ran out on the iMac and the easiest thing would be to do is just go out and buy a new iMac with a freezing drive, yeah, but no. Um, I thought, okay, my warranty ran out last month and I thought, let's set up a challenge and get an SSD and open the display up and whack one in and that's exactly what I've done. I bought the SSD from Amazon for £140. 256 gig SSD and that is now acting as a primary drive where my operating system is, where my applications is and that is what you really are achieving uh, by you know wanting to upgrade your iMac so your operating system boots up faster, your application boots up faster, they close down fast and that kind of carry on and all your films legally downloaded of course and all your junk, your files, your documents are on the stock hard drive which came with the iMac originally so that's just acting as a secondary drive that's my setup right now as I speak post installation and it's so far uh, been pretty amazing in terms of speeds now the important thing to note is you do need additional items uh, simply it's not just a case of going on Amazon and purchasing an SSD and that's it uh, you do need uh, some additional kit which is relatively cheap and eBay uh, is kind of my go-to place and this is where I got it from anyway so I'll leave the links in the description first of all you need two suction cup holders the eBay seller who I bought it off had a dual package so two for like four pound or so and that is basically to take the actual display off because the display is hooked up together with magnets so the suction cup allows you to kind of uh, take the display off. Next thing you're going to need is, and you probably might already have this, is T0, T8 and T10 screwdrivers and tweezers. Trust me. Uh, tweezers you need because the screws are small and there's a lot of magnets inside so it is kind of annoying sometimes when you're taking a screw out the screw actually just goes straight towards the magnet and tweezers just makes the process just so much more less frustrating and so I would recommend tweezers plus I would recommend the screwdrivers you get are magnetic uh, so the screws don't fall in to the iMac or you know don't fiddle about inside once you're trying to put it in I'd also recommend some cell tape or some black tape to put over the magnets inside the iMac while you're putting the screw in this kind of makes the magnets less strong if that makes sense um, and Although this wasn't in any of the guides, this is something that I just kind of thought on the spot because I was getting a bit frustrated with trying to put the screws in uh, and the iMac magnets were so strong, literally when you would put the screw beside it or trying to put the screw beside it, it would just go all over the place. So I would recommend some black tape, some strong tape that would go over the magnets temporarily while you put all the screws in. Next, you need a SATA cable, relatively cheap on eBay, 99 pence. You need a SATA Y power splitter. This is crucial. This is a cable that connects your stock Mac hard drive and your new SSD to the power supply on the motherboard. Uh, so for my setup, it was crucial because I still wanted both drives to operate. If you're going to throw away or take out the old Mac hard drive for some odd reason, uh, then you won't need this, but you do need a SATA Y splitter. Next, you're going to need some Velcro. Um, Velcro or some sticky pads, and no, uh, I'm not joking. This is heavy duty stuff. This is probably the most I spent in terms of additional accessories. Uh, about eight pound for this, yeah. It's a 3M one, and the reason is this goes on to your SSD plus the iMac. Now, when I was watching tutorials before putting this in, I was like, 
what happens if the hard drive just falls out of place, you know, a couple of months down the line? Uh, and I was a bit worried as to how well it would work, you know. Although it's heavy duty, surely the hard drive will or could somehow fall off and go out of place. The thing is that won't happen, uh, simply because the whole purpose of taking the display off is, you know, you bring the display forward and you take the logic board forward, you put the SSD in the back, then you move the board back so everything is kind of stuck together, uh, everything is in place so there's no chance of the hard drive to fall out and if it does it's going to stay in the same place anyway because it's so kind of crowded uh, and everything is just up against each other, the you know back to back pretty much. So you could use velcro or you could use some you know double sided strong tape as was suggested on the tutorial video which I was watching but I thought it'd just be a whole lot safer and easier to kind of, if I wanted down the line, just to change the orientation or, you know, just it just looked a bit more stronger, I guess. Need some compressed air found at your local supermarket or eBay or whatever. This is simply when you're putting everything back and the display is naked. You want to give it a good rub down, you know, because the moment you take this off, you just see dust going towards the screen. Uh, and it's annoying once you've put it on. This is probably the easiest thing in terms of the upgrade process, taking this off using the suction cups. I could literally just do it just now. So you can always kind of go back and forth and get the dust part to, you know, sorted, so don't worry about that. Um, but this is handy alongside a microfiber cloth and some solution to give your screen inside and outside a good wipe once you're finished. Then, once you've got all the parts, go ahead and dig into your iMac. Choose a day that you aren't going to be rushing to get your iMac back up and running. Choose a weekend, maybe take it easy. Ideally, uh, you would want to have someone to give you a hand in terms of, you know, simple things like taking the screen off, you want someone to be holding the back, or once you're taking the display off, you want someone to just be there and they can hold the display while you disconnect the wires at the back. Everything is, trust me, relatively straightforward. If you follow the video steps, uh, you have a new drive in your iMac and you'll be getting beastly speeds as you can see there uh, and here is a comparison of my old stock hard drive versus the new SSD and you can see the read and write speeds kind of speak for themselves uh, and this helps with multitasking, loading up your machine, loading up applications. If you have a MacBook Air 2010 and above you know exactly what I'm referring to. It's amazing speeds and what, well, it was only £140, £150 versus going out and getting a whole new machine. Um, so it's kind of a no-brainer. Wanted to set myself a challenge. I wasn't going to do this video but a lot of you wanted to know what the speeds were like. Some of you have the same model um, and you wanted to know whether you should you go out and you know get it done. Yes is the answer. I save a lot of money instead of getting a new one. Uh, SSD is going to add more life, uh, and especially if you've run out of Apple Care, why not? Uh, give it a go and thank me later. I hope this video's helped, and I hope I've answered all the questions. Um, I, I made sure I had all the correct information, and it's not rocket science. Uh, the video tutorial is pretty crystal clear as what you need to do. If you have any further questions, um, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them. Uh, and if you haven't seen the previous video, um, I am running a meaty giveaway. You wouldn't want to miss out on it, would you now? Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next video. Cheers.